Hi, welcome back to Lizelle Wellbeing YouTube channel and I am currently still in Italy and oh my gosh, it's been really hot and um, yeah, it's been a really hot day here today and I am now going to get ready for a dinner out with my family and I thought I would just film a quick holiday get ready just to show how I do a little bit of quick glam up for the holidays. So starting off, I've just cleaned my face just had to wipe off all the kind of debris of the day and the sun cream and all of that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually still going to use this as my base. This is the 35,000 serum. And, you know, I really like it. It's a great multitasker because, you know, it works day to night. It works in the evening because it's got a hyaluronic acid in it that just smooths the skin and gives you a little bit of even colour and actually it's still got the SPF 30 so you know sometimes when you're out um, particularly overseas you know the evening sun don't forget can still be quite strong so it is good to have a little bit of something on the face but it also kind of acts as a base as well so that's just going on like that and then I'm just going to use the Studio 10 Glowplexion. This is the plumping blush. And again, you know, I use this during the day, but you can build in the evening. You can just put a little bit more on. And I found that one of the best ways is if you pop some on the back of your hand and then take a blusher brush. This was a trick actually that the founder, Grace, showed me. You actually apply it with the brush and then you can just buff it into the skin and not just using it as a blush, but just kind of anywhere where the sun might naturally hit your skin. Oh gosh, it's so hot here. I'm getting, getting all sweaty already. But anyway, it's a glow, isn't it? It's a natural, healthy glow. And because it's evening, I've probably put another layer on just to give the colour a little bit of a boost. I love this because it's got a really nice peachy shade and it gives the skin a bit of a glow can you see that and a real kind of shimmer and then what I'm also going to do is put some over my eyelids like that because this then takes away any harsh lines and acts as a really nice kind of bronzy base for colour on top now I am going to dab on just a little bit oh, of powder just because I'm getting a bit hot <laughs> so I've just got a really simple face um, face powder loose translucent can't speak translucent face powder um, I like the Laura Mercier one but you know any will do but then on top of that because I have picked up a little bit of color even though I've been using my sunscreen I've also got from Studio 10 where is it here we go I've got the bronzing powder. So this, it's called bronzing powder and radiance powder. So it's a two in one. So you've got the bronzing powder here and this little kind of highlighter. Highlighter, I'm not sure I need it really. I might pop a little bit on, but I take my powder brush, just pick up powder, and then just use that as an extra, just a little bit of color. And you can also use this if you just want to intensify any area. So, for example, I often like putting a little bit under my chin and just round the jawline. It just sort of helps define the jaw here if it's a little bit darker underneath. And then you can also just kind of take a bit down here as well, just to even out any areas that might be a slightly different skin tone. Mm, so there you go. Okay, so that's my base. And I'm now gonna do eyes. I'm not gonna go crazy, but I have got my favorite compact with me. This is the Delilah Compact. I love this, it's called Jezebel. It's got nine shades. You can obviously see that's the, the base one that I use a lot of. And I've just got quite a large brush. And I'm just going to use that from the corner of my eyelid and sweep that out because I find that using quite a pale colour in the corner there 
just really brightens the eye. Can you see? It's just giving that an instant brightness without kind of doing anything else. And then I have got a smaller brush and I'm going to use, I'm kind of going to mix these three together actually. Just pick up a little bit of these three here, the, sort of the black, the taupe and the grey. Give the brush a little bit of a tap so it doesn't all drop off down my face. And then I'm just going to use that from the middle of my eyelid outwards and just sort of press that in and up. So it's kind of keeping the eye shape up. Oh my gosh, my skin's getting hot. There we go. So probably a little bit darker, you know, than I would normally go, just because I'm going out in the evening. And then maybe a little bit just under here of what's left on my brush. I'm going to have to just oh, mop the glow <laughs> and do that on the other side. So I've got these three. I love mixing colours because I just find you get a more, uh, more sort of natural look, really. And then if you've got any left on your brush, you can, if you want to, just use that just to fill in. The beginning bits of my eyebrows are always a little bit sparser. So I'm just going to fill those in. Actually, talking about eyebrows, before I do my mascara, I do have with me something that I quite like in the evening. And that is from Beauty Pie. Uh, oh, no, it's not. This one's from Delilah. It's called Brow Shape. And it's just a little eyebrow gel. So it's got this bitty, bitty brush. And it's got a bit of colour in it. And you can just use it just to give your eyebrows a little bit more definition and lift them up and out. There we go, a little bit more polish for the evening. And then for mascara, I've actually got a Beauty Pie one. So this is one, it's called Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara Black. It's got quite a nice big thick brush. And I'm just going to use that. It really gives a bit of a vroom to lashes. You can see, and the key with mascara is to put your brush really close to the roots to start with and then kind of joggle it along and pull it up and out. And you can see just a very small amount, and I'm going to use some on the outer edges here, is, um, yeah, <laughs> makes a big difference, doesn't it? So again, do that on the other side. Uh, there we are, so that will do. Right, now the pencil that I'm going to use is this one. This is, let me just check, it's a Studio 10 double-ended pencil. And this is the chocolatey brown. I'll make sure that we pop everything actually in the caption so that you can see. And I'm just going to use that on my inner lid just at the end and just to slightly flick it out. It's quite easy to do after you've done your mascara because your lashes have already kind of been moved upwards and out of the way. So I think actually, because it is so hot, I'm gonna put my hair up, I'll do that in just a sec. Um, but lastly, lips. And this is something that I brought with me from my lovely friend, Ruby Hammer. You might remember me talking to her in the past and she's also been a guest actually on Liz Our Wellbeing magazine. So this is one of her lip, it's kind of a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss. I'm not usually a massive fan of bright red lipstick, but this I find really wearable because it's like a gloss. I just actually only put it on one lip, my bottom lip, and then rub my lips together and then just use my finger just to blend it into the rest of my lips. And I like it because it does give me a pop of colour. Makes me feel a bit more polished. But it doesn't dry and it stays on and it's, yeah. Love you, Ruby. Genius. Well done. Um, okay, so hair. Oof, because it's really hot, I just don't think I can keep my hair down. I'd like to get it off the back of my neck. So it also, if I'm really truthful with you, it needs a bit of a wash. Um, and I haven't got time for that. So what I would do if I was going out is just up here, actually, I've got a little bit of fine talcum powder. 
So if I wanted to keep it down, this is just a little holiday trick. If your hair is looking a little bit greasy, um, is just to put some talcum powder on your hands and to rub that through. It's a bit like a dry shampoo, but it just mops up any little residue of greasiness close to the scalp and it just sort of freshens your hair. So if I wanted to keep my hair down, I would literally kind of just do that, to be honest, and just give it a bit of a fluff up because, hey, it's holiday time and, you know, that would be enough, really. But I'm gonna put it up. So what I'm gonna do is um, pull it back. And this is actually really, really, really simple. Just give it a little bit of a brush through. And all you need is a chignon pin, or do you know, sometimes when I've been out and I've got hot and I just wanted to get the hair off the back of my neck, I've literally just used a pencil or a pen, like a biro from my bag. So what you do is you put your hair up in a high, high ponytail like this. Okay, so it's all up. And then you twist, so you twist it around. I hope I'm capturing that, just like this. Okay, so I've got this little piece here, which I kind of don't mind. I think it looks kind of a little bit funky. And then I've got, this is just a really simple, I think I got this from Accessorize or somewhere years ago, just a simple stick, kind of pin. And then, if I can find the right bit without looking in the mirror, I'm just going to do that. And that is enough to hold it. And then, oh gosh, got all hot again. <laughs> and then, because actually it can look a little bit too harsh, I think, if it's all pulled back. And then just going to pull little bits out just to, just to soften it slightly. And you can even... And if you want, just take little pieces out and just sort of have them a little bit loose just to make it look not quite so done, you know, not quite so structured. Anyway, that's it. That is my hair and my face done. So now I'm just going to do a quick change and I'm going to wear something much brighter. This is holiday time, so I'm going to go for it. So I've got this dress that I just bought in a little local shop here, which is really colourful. Look at that, and super light, it's backless, and it's got these really cute little tassely tags just to tie around, and it's quite long, quite flouncy, so I thought that would, that would look really nice. And then I'll find some bright earrings to go with that. And, uh, oh yeah, and to finish it off, you're gonna love these. Ta-da, holiday shoes, <laughs> it's gotta be done. Bright orange platforms. I'll pop it on in just a sec. So there we go. Got my dress on, got my hair up. And actually what I did was I found a little Diamante clip in my drawer. So I just popped that in the back of my head. And uh, earrings, that's what I need. So I found these, which I'm going to wear. These were a present from Lily. So I will ask her where she got them from and pop it in the caption. They're quite fun, aren't they? And very holiday-ish. Kind of not the sort of thing that I would usually find or buy for myself. So I think she's quite clever in finding them. So I'm going to pop those in. And also something else that I wouldn't normally wear, but I am today, is my bright orange platforms. And then lastly, I have to say it is very, very hot. But I'm going to take out a little lightweight shawl with me because you never know, it does tend to get a lot cooler in the evening. This was a present from a friend a long time ago and I absolutely love it. It's a super lightweight, very, very fine kind of silky cashmere shawl from N Peel. And I just love it. And it's just such a great thing to have because it's a neutral colour. It goes with everything. Oh, and last thing is my little bag. This was from a little ethical Indian shop in somewhere in Notting Hill. And um, anyway, it's my holiday evening bag. That's it. And I'll see you here next week when hopefully it's a little bit cooler. Bye.